Do I know about intelligence? What do you think I am? You know, I'm, I'm related, related to creatures with massive heads. I've got intelligence. I've got something in, in, in there. So, something stuck in my head, you know, it makes an intelligence. <laughs> I think they call it a brain. Yeah, so I, I think sometimes. Especially at dinner time. What is intelligence? Um, oh, I, I think it's about uh, functionality. It's about uh, little things going from nerve to nerve and all those nerves sort of um, manipulating everything and uh, considering everything and coming out with sort of possible answers. That's what intelligence is. Do I know my IQ? <laughs> I have thousands of IQs. Of course I know. It's um, mostly from about IQ 145 to 175. Of you know, that'd be about a hundred different IQs, and I've got uh, I've had IQs higher and lower. You know, um, yeah, I know. I know about my IQ. Um, it doesn't seem to matter much, though. Um, well, how does knowing about an IQ make you better at doing anything? It can make you worse, you know. Like if uh, if they said, "Oh, you've got uh, IQ eighty nine. Uh, you can't think about such and such very well." And the truth is, you can think about it well. Well, that's strange, you know. Um, I suppose it can boost confidence for some people, but maybe if it's a bit wrong, you know. And I'm not saying all IQs are in a way wrong, but um, yeah, yeah, I know my IQs anyway. They, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit confusing about what they are. You know, I've got uh, an average of the top 10 over 160, you know, that's a high level, but um, I don't want to include, include the others, so I'll bring it down. <laughs> uh, why are my IQ scores so erratic? Um, oh, I don't know, you know, it's sort of like uh, I'm erratic. <laughs> Did you ever know that? I'm a human being. Um not a Mexican jumping bean. No, I'm a human being. <laughs> and um, I'm not the same now as... Uh, or now. Or now. I just am not that consistent. Um, you know, I, I suffer epilepsy, diabetes. Um, oh, I've had cancer, bad cancer. I've had uh, a heart attack. Uh, I've had skin cancers cut out and patches put over my eyes and I've had uh, lots of medications for a while. I was having um, between 20 and 30 medications a day, you know. it's uh, um, Sometimes I'm exhausted, sometimes I'm energetic. Um, uh, yeah, there are reasons why my IQ scores are erratic. And um, the other thing is... Um, you know, IQ scores were created by all different people. Some of the people I can understand and some of the people I can't understand. It's um, it's funny, some of the people uh, from Australia where I come from and when they ask um, something in a, an IQ test, it makes more sense to me than maybe it does to someone from somewhere else. But... Um, Oh, I, I sometimes I I switch on and understand what the Europeans are asking me, but sometimes I don't. Or the um, people from the United States, I don't always understand what they're talking about. You know, it's it's all different, and sometimes the questions are are biased towards a certain nation. You know, like. Um, if I was doing an IQ test and I had a question about 
the Sioux Indians or different sorts of Red Indians or um, or um, different um, curries in India or um, all sorts of prop or famous mountains in the Europe. I wouldn't get them right, you know. Um, yeah, um, different people have different abilities when they're creating the test. So, um, so sometimes their answers are. Um, I don't know how they find their answers. Sometimes do IQ tests measure the same intellectual ability? Um, no, they've got all different things. Some of them are spatial, some of them are verbal, some of them are numerical, some of them are general IQ, some of them are speed tests, some of them are... Um, well, they're just, some of them are just bloody extremely difficult. <laughs> um, yeah, can your IQ be improved? Um, um, because I've done far more than 100 IQ tests, um, I think it, it could be improved in some tests, but um, in most of the tests, it could not be improved much, I think. Um, the high range IQ tests are different from the speed tests. They're, um, you can take as long as you like to do it, but um, sometimes I've found that uh, spending a bit more time to do it has actually made me cross out the correct answers that I had already derived, you know. Um, you just have to decide how long you actually want to do it for. I, I, used, to, I used to do the high range IQ tests in about one hour, but you're supposed to take maybe um, 30 to 100 hours. I used to get, when I did that, I'd get about IQ 135 with doing it in one hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was um, that wasn't a, a true measure of my IQ because they tests made for people who should be spending about uh, many hours on. Them. <laughs> I was, and then I'd get it. I think I liked the part where I got angry at the um, um, person who created a test, and I sent a, a letter of saying it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't bullshit. I just didn't. Um, I didn't understand that I actually had to think for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But I do think um, in some tests your IQ could be improved, um, but um, not usually much. You know. I think it's got more to do with how you're feeling, whether you've slept and stuff like that. That might have a bit of an effect. Um, when I've been sick, you know, when I've had um, been sedated, you know, with medications, what do you call it? Anesthetics. Um, I think my IQ drops about uh, maybe 10 points when I have, when I've had anesthetic for operations. Especially if I've got a patch over the eye, yeah. Uh, does a high IQ make life better? Well, I don't think a high IQ does make life better. <laughs> I think it. I think it makes you a misfit. Yeah, I've been a misfit um, most of my life. Well, all of my life, I've been a misfit. It's caused problems. You know, it's um, I, people didn't like me because uh, things were too easy for me. So um, um, it caused jealousies. I, I tried very hard to be normal. I, to survive school, I, I had to be normal. I crossed out answers. I, I, I did everything wrong. On purpose, you know. It's um, I had eyesight problems, and my male parent wouldn't get me glasses because I was too intelligent. 
I was dyslexic too, um, which wasn't diagnosed. Um, it's um, um, people wanted me to suffer um, stupidity. That's what they wanted, <laughs> um, and also um, you know, like they used to. Uh, get people into the government by um, selection tests, you know, aptitude tests. And then they came to the conclusion that the people with um, very high IQs couldn't communicate. <laughs> but it, it was the other way round, really, you know. We won't tell the public servants that they're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> um, are people with high IQs victimised? I think people with high IQs are victimised. And I, when I say high IQs, I mean um, elite geniuses. I think they're the most victimised people in society. Um, nobody sympathises with very intelligent people. They actually like to like to hear that they're suffering or they... If, they, if they're not suffering, they make them suffer in all sorts of ways. You know, it's, um, it's horrible, you know, very horrible. Um, um, when, for the people who are intellectually impaired, people are always sympathetic and they're always cuddling them and they're always kissing them. And, um, and I see it, you know, and I think... God, I wish I, I could have that, you know, but I can't, you know. Is it easy for people with high IQs to find partners? No, it isn't. You know, if, if you've got an IQ within the top one in a thousand or, or maybe even much more elite, um... It's very, very difficult to find partners. Um, you can find someone to have a good time with for a couple of hours. <laughs> but um, no, it's, but even that might be a bit strange, you know, because um, you start to talk to a woman and she says, you're too clever for me. And she'll walk off. <laughs> um, do people with high IQs have high ability and creativity? Um, well, some of them do, you know. I, I do know some do, but um, it might rely a bit on the education system. Or um, um, I do know that... Um, um, I have noticed that Swedish people seem to be good at mathematics and at art. You know, that isn't so in some places. You know, like, I think that there are some parts of Europe where they just concentrate on uh, mathematics. Mathematical thought is considered very, very important. And uh, they are doing very well in mathematics, you know. But I do not know whether they have a broader um, education system. You know, I think that um, people who learn about mathematics, maybe, you know, they're mathematical geniuses or something, they should, um, they should also learn about other things. You know, it's, um, it broadens their horizons and um, it seems to me that the Swedes have... Um, you know, they, they have something in their education system that is making them multi-talented. And um, I'm not only talking about Sweden, but um, I think the Australians can have um, um, different abilities too, you know, that they've, they've nurtured through the education system sometimes. And... Um, um, but uh, a psychologist said to me, he said um, that 
it's rare for a person with a high IQ to have high creative ability. He said that I was a rarity, but um, I don't know. It's um, I <laughs> I don't know. I I mix with people who are good mathematicians for a while, but um, uh, some of them just didn't seem to have other abilities. <laughs> I had horrible dress sense. I know that. <laughs> but um. Oh, well, it's nice to talk to you about intelligence. Now, some other day we'll talk about another topic, eh? Bye-bye. <laughs>